Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be leading you through a 30 minute total upper body workout. As you can see today, I have a little bit of equipment with me. I have three sets of dumbbells. I have a light set, a medium set, and a heavy set. So I have a five pound, 10 pound, and 20 pound set. And then I also have a chair. Don't worry if you don't have as much variation as I do, just use whatever you have available to you at home. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, we're gonna start off with a little bit of a warm up. First up, we're just gonna do some nice big arm circles, warming up those shoulders. We're gonna do 30 seconds backward and then 30 seconds forward. And switch. Next up, you're going to crisscross those arms. So all the way, squeeze that back. And then keeping your arms here, you're gonna lift one arm up above the head. Okay, next up, I'm gonna head to the ground and I'm gonna use my light weights. If you don't have a set of decently light weight, you can do this without a weight as well. Your elbow is tucked right beside you. You come down by your chest and then back up. So your arm is at a 90 degree angle. Good, and we're gonna switch sides. Good, next up we're gonna lay on our bellies. Your arms are gonna be extended out in front of you and then you're gonna swoop them all the way back around and touch those fingertips over your bum. So out front and back around. Good, we're gonna take a 30 second rest and then we're going to kind of continue here a little bit with our warm up. We're going to do some push ups and then we're gonna stand up and do a quick little exercise using our light weights.
So push-ups we're gonna be doing for 45 seconds. You can do these on your toes, you can do these on your knees. If you can't do a full push-up, you're gonna lower yourself to the ground, let go, and then push yourself right back up. Good, standing up, grabbing those light weights. We're going to do some around the world. So your palms are facing forward. Dumbbells touch in front of you. You're gonna bring them all the way up and then dumbbells touch above head and then back down, nice and simple. Good. All right, we're taking a 30 second rest here. Next up, we're going to go into our first superset. So each of the exercises are going to be 45 seconds each, and you're gonna do them one right after another without a break. First up is just some regular bicep curls. Second exercise is a two-way shoulder press. So one, palms are facing toward each other, and then second, palms are facing forward. Here we go. So make sure your elbows are locked and you're extending all the way at the bottom. Getting ready to go into our shoulder press. So one, palms facing toward each other. Switch, palms facing forward. Make sure you're not locking those elbows out at the top. Nice work. We are taking a 30 second rest and then we're gonna repeat those two exercises once again. So we have two, three, four, five supersets. Today, you are going to repeat both of them twice. <laughs> we have a wood shop next door and sometimes there's saws going and that's why I just hesitated to speak because I didn't wanna speak over the saw. Ay, ay, ay. All right, here we go. Bicep curls, let's go. Oh, 
Good, shoulder presses, here we go. Nice work. All right, we're taking a one minute rest. Next up, we're moving into our second superset. We're going to do a chest press and a tricep extension. So I'm going to be using my heavier dumbbells for the tricep or the chest press. And I'm gonna do that on the ground. But if you have a bench, you're more than welcome to do this on a bench. If you're doing it on the ground, make sure your elbows are slightly pointed downward. They're not directly out from your shoulder. You want to protect those shoulders. So have them pointed slightly downward. Make sure your shoulder blades are tucked behind your back. So you're pressing those shoulder blades into the floor and pressing them together. And you're squeezing those chest muscles together as you bring the dumbbells up above your head. And make sure that you control when you lower down. Here we go. Good, sitting up right away. I'm gonna take my lighter dumbbell for this one, right behind the head, and squeeze it up. Make sure your elbows are locked. definitely a burn. We're taking a 30 second rest and we're going to repeat those once more. Let's go. Good, sitting up. Forward this time. So really make sure you're locking those elbows out and then as you come up to the top, you're extending and squeezing that tricep.
Whew. Nice work. Taking a 60 second rest. All right, your next two exercises are back rows. We're gonna do 30 seconds for each arm. And then your second exercise is hammer curls. So you're gonna come across, or cross body hammer curls, I should say. So use whatever weights you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna use my heavier set for my back rows and then my medium set, so my 10 pounds for the curls. So for these back rows, I'm gonna have one hand placed on my chair while the other one does the work. Make sure you're thinking about this elbow and it's driving backward as you squeeze that lat. Getting ready to switch arms. Think about your elbow and your back doing all the work. Think of your hand as a hook so you're not using that forearm or that bicep as much to bring the dumbbell up. Getting ready to go into those cross body curls. So your palm is facing toward you. Again, you're keeping that elbow where it is and just letting the bottom half of your arm do the work or the movement. Good work. Taking a 30 second rest. We're gonna repeat that once again, starting off with those back rows. Really think about squeezing that back. Here we go. Getting ready to switch sides. Girls, let's go.
Come on, guys, squeeze. Five more seconds. Lose control of myself. Can find you anywhere. Nice work. All right. Don't need this chair anymore. We are moving into our final superset. This is almost like a burnout superset, so I'm going to use my light weights probably throughout this whole set. First up, you're gonna do a two-way lateral raise, forwards and to the side. So your palms are facing forward, elbows are slightly bent, just like so. And then second, oh, I lied, you're gonna need your chair. <laughs> Silly me. We're gonna do some tricep kickbacks. You could actually do this on the ground if you don't wanna use a chair. But almost like you're in that back row position, keep that elbow locked, like so. And we're gonna do 30 seconds on each arm. Here we go, starting off with those lateral raises. So when I go to the side, my arms aren't directly out from the side, they're slightly forward. Again, protecting those shoulders. Tricep kickbacks. So in that squeeze position, hold that elbow, extend. I like to turn my palm to the ceiling. I find that that helps me to engage my tricep a little better. Getting ready to switch arms. Make sure to keep that elbow locked, extend all the way. Nice work, 30 second rest. We're gonna repeat that again. If you are feeling strong, you could up your weight but just take them a little bit slower, or if you really just wanna feel that nice intense burn, stick with the lighter weights. Here we go. But form is important, so don't up your weight if that's going to compromise your form. Guys, 10 more seconds, you can do it. All right, squeezing those triceps. Good, switch.
Good work. Next up, we are going to just move into a quick little cool down. So, you're gonna bring one arm across. Jazz quiet. And we're just gonna hold. Good, and we're gonna switch. Good, bring one arm up and over. Good, and switch. Good, we're just gonna do some arm circles. And switch and go forward. Good, next up we're gonna stretch out our biceps and our chest. So you're gonna clasp the hands behind you like so and have your pointer fingers out. You're going to stretch those arms and then slightly lift, I don't know if you can see that, the arms up while keeping those the chest nice and open and you'll feel that across your biceps and your chest. So hold as long as the stretch feels good, and then you can kind of just come out of it, but do it a couple times. Good, and last up, we're just going to stretch out the side. You'll feel this in your lat. And switch. And switch. 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 Last one. That is it guys, great job, you made it through, congratulations. This one was a little bit hectic, we had saws, we had dogs barking, but we did it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the December challenge so far. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more long form content with dumbbells. I really enjoyed doing this one. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me, and I'll see you guys very soon, bye.